Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have an awesome suite of jailbreak updates to discuss pertaining to the all new Pangu iOS 9 through 9.0.2 untethered jailbreak, including Pangu version 1.0.1, as well as a possible Mac iteration of the utility, an update to Cydia's substrate, as well as a quick guide for how to fix an issue that causes Cydia to constantly crash upon tapping the icon. <laughs> And if you want a chance to win a new iPhone 6S, just rate this video up and stick around to the end. That is concluding soon. Now, if you have yet to jailbreak iOS 9 through up to 9.0.2, the current latest public firmware, then I definitely advise doing so utilizing my tutorial. So there will be two annotations on your screens now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube, the first of which will be a direct link to my Pangu for iOS 9 through 9.0.2 untethered jailbreak tutorial, which has actually been updated to make use of Pangu version 1.0.1, which we're about to get into. And a second is my top Cydia tweaks video for iOS 9, all of which are compatible with Pangu. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and open up the changelog for Pangu version 1.0.1, and immediately you'll notice something pretty interesting. So if you already watched my jailbreak tutorial, you will know by now that it is exclusive to Windows currently. That might change soon because on Pangu's official site in their changelog, they state that version 1.0.0 of their Mac utility is coming soon. So as you can see there, Pangu for Mac is coming shortly. Currently, we don't have an ETA, but just be sure to stay tuned. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, just click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name, and you'll be immediately updated as soon as a new utility to function on Mac OS X is released. But as for Windows, in version 1.0.1, the latest version, it fixes a bug that could lead to a 0A error code that appears inside of the Pangu UI itself. It also fixes failure of launching on some PCs, improves the success rate overall, so it will definitely run more efficiently now with version 1.0.1, and it does ensure the removal of the Pangu app if for whatever reason it didn't actually remove it in the final cleaning up process. Now, the Pangu Untether package that's actually installed on your device remains exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. If you're already jailbroken and you already have Cydia, you are good to go, you're completely fine, you don't need to re-jailbreak, but if you have yet to jailbreak, then just following my tutorial will ensure that you actually utilize the latest version of the utility 1.0.1. So now inside of Cydia itself, we're actually going to discuss a quick update. We have a new one for Cydia Substrate from Jay Freeman, aka Sorik, the creator of Cydia. As you can see here, this latest version 0.9.6010 fixes the 32-bit ARM7 slice, which was keeping extensions from loading into Cydia. So this is great. This means that extensions that are compatible with iOS 9 that do actually interface with Cydia are now fully supported on the 32-bit devices. He also states here that all 32-bit binaries, in particular extensions, must be updated and recompiled using a new method for iOS 9. So that's only really relevant to jailbreak developers, but at any rate, guys, just install this update to Cydia Substrate. All you need to do is just, again, go to the section, hit refresh, followed by upgrade. We also have a new update to Preference Loader. We've received a few over the past day or so, and Preference Loader actually puts the settings for various tweaks inside of the settings app. So you'll start to see a plethora of new tweak updates come in light of the recent revisions to Preference Loader. So some more great news. The iOS 9 jailbreak is definitely stable right now, and it's continuing to get even better. And speaking of stability, if you have an issue opening Cydia, and by that I mean it just doesn't open, it won't for whatever reason, that's because you have a tweak installed that has yet to be updated and is conflicting with your device. So on this particular iPhone 6s, I actually did it on purpose. I installed an older tweak that isn't compatible right now, Anemone, and because of that, Cydia will not open. So what we have to do is we actually have to reboot into a safe mode, so to speak. So what we have to do is power off our device, and once you do that, we're actually going to reboot by holding down the volume up button. Now, you'll also be able to use this this method if for whatever reason you get stuck in sort of a reboot loop. So this is absolutely key and this is golden actually following this. What you need to do is you have to hold down the volume up button and then you need to press the power button until you see the Apple logo appear. And once it does continue holding volume up, do not let go of it. That's the only thing I'm holding right now. And don't worry if your device throws up some screen glitches like mine is here, that's completely fine. That is part of the jailbreak. So just be patient and continue holding the volume up button, it will restart eventually.
Okay, so now that we're up, we're sliding to unlock, and we can swipe over and launch up Cydia. Don't worry if you get a storage almost full air and you have a 16 gigabyte device, that's completely fine. Just again, open up Cydia and it will function. Then you need to uninstall the conflicting tweak or tweaks that actually cause Cydia to stop functioning properly. And once you do, you have to fully reboot your device. So power button and then turn it off and then turn it back on and then you should be good to go and you'll be able to reuse everything. If you don't do that final reboot, then tweaks will not work properly. So that basically reboots inside of safe mode. It disables everything so that way you can actually find and uninstall what's causing the issue. And if you guys are interested in my iPhone 6S giveaway, just navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of mobile Safari and sign up. Once you do, download any of the sponsored apps that appear in the main section and earn points. And then just go to the fourth tab at the bottom and you see that referral link. I want you to post the unique part, what appears after the equals symbol in the comment section of this video. It's just my iPhone 6S unboxing and it's as easy as that. That will conclude more toward the end of the month. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I create videos like this one, letting you know what's going on in the realm of jailbreaking, as well as ones covering new jailbreak utilities in general. Just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and of course, click the subscribe button below if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ACU, signing out.